steps up in the pocket. They'll fire to the right side. Oh, 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 The skull is mightier than the Houdat, my friends. The first time in playoff history a game ended on the final play of regulation. And for all you Saints fans out there who really have been talking a lot of smack about, oh, we won a Super Bowl years ago, oh, we're a much different team from week one, we're gonna waste your Houdat. Well, you have the right to remain silent. And I'm sure for a lot of them that really isn't going to be a problem since they're pretty stunned. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. I just have no sympathy for that. The Saints and their fans. But now I think we should, I should analyze this game a little bit, share my thoughts, and think about what our Vikings can do to play even better when they go to Philly next week. As most of you know, the Vikings dominated the first half. Ooh. Ooh. nothing lead at the half. Uh, the Saints offense looks to be no match for our defense. Uh, the Saints defense, I was not impressed, especially with all the, I mean, with all those penalties they took. And you know, quite frankly, I think they should have been called for more. I mean, as, as emotionally overwhelming and exciting that moment was, Looking back on it, I'm actually quite disappointed that we did not put that game away sooner than we did. The turning point came in, on our first drive of the third quarter. We're moving downfield, but then on third down, Case Keenum took a sack. And that stunk because that took us out of field goal range and he had a wide open tight end. <laughs> Yes, the Saints, they do have a good offense, and our defense, I think, was starting to fall apart at that point, and I, I think a, quite a bit of that has to do with the injuries to the likes of Andrew Sandejo, Shamar Stephan, and Xavier Rose, although Rose was only out temporarily. Now, offensively, I felt at that point the Saints were starting to get more pressure on Keenum, but I think overall, I mean, come on, when, you ha when you're up 17 nothing, you have a team down, okay, this is the playoffs. You need to stomp on them, okay? You can never let up on the gas pedal. Uh, in the last three minutes of the game, the lead changed four times. But mm, in the very end, there's, okay, there's 10 seconds to go. The Vikings are down by one point. And let's just watch this again. Steps up in the pocket. They'll fire to the right side. Oh, my
crying, he says. So next week, we take on the Eagles, who barely escaped the Falcons. But it'll be in Philly, and it'll be a cold game. However, I think this Vikings team is up for any challenge. I mean, I think the Eagles don't have as good of an offense as the Saints, but, you know, a, a good defense. So I imagine this will be a low-scoring game. <sighs> However, like I said, this Vikings team is up for any challenge. This is, I think this is a beatable team for us, and I have a very strong feeling in my heart that this is our year. Go Vikings. Bring it home.